What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And I've just quickly changed from Franklin to uh, Michael and we are driving to the big M on the screen. Um, what this mission is, is this is finally our movie premiere and bollocks. Uh, today I believe this mission is our movie premiere for Michael's film and Solomon's film. Uh, I think it is, because when I was playing as Franklin, uh, I got a text from Jimmy, the son's name, I think it is Jimmy, uh, saying that that uh, this is happening or something, so I have a guess, I think we have to go buy a tux or something, or something like that, that's what Jimmy said in the text. I actually didn't check my phone if he texted me, no. Alright, well, we've got our mission selected right here, and yeah, we have to go buy some sort of fancy dancy suit, so let's get on that. Shall we? Buy a tuxedo. Yeah, Dad. I'll be uh, soon. I'll give you a, get a ride. You better be badass tux. All right. So we have to buy some badass tux apparently. So let's just buy the most freaking expensive one. Well, you got all these and you got tux. So let's just buy that. That's okay. I don't care about a return policy, love. Alright, look at us. Look at Michael. It's all dapper. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on. Alright, so where do I hop in? I hop in here. Sweet. The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. <laughs> hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! <laughs> Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! Oh, I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work! And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit! Before appearing on Reality Rehab Show! And then, I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental! <laughs> and, I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too! And, I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does! Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle! Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! We're not to, like, <laughs> gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E N T uh, Titled! Cause I oh, am dear. Jimmy! <laughs> oh pot! <Pop, laughs> I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Devin, uh-oh. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry. But I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. Where are we going? Ah, we're going right here. Okie dokie. This is going to be fun. Go to the red carpet. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? <laughs> Uh, of, course uh, of course they will. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. Oh, uh, it's this guy. Page Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. 
I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Oh, come on, Michael. Just knock him out. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo! Oh, shit, shit, <laughs> <laughs> That was brilliant. Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> oh shit! You twisted fuck! You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's he done? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. Save your family. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family. All right. Let's go. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, no, it's Shit, not. What's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. All right, let's grab this. I'm gonna find the girls. Daddy's home, you prick. Ah, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in. Stop hiding. Can I just shoot him? There we go. What? I didn't shoot her. Did I? No. What? Alright, whatever. This game likes to be stupid sometimes. Where's it going to put us? Do we have to drive again? Or is it just going to be putting me at the front door? Alright, cool. Alright, let's get the pistol out this time. Your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. All right, let's do this. Clear the building. No one leave. Oh, you gone. Clear the house of Merryweather. Oh, okay. Frag out. Uh oh. Not yet. Stay put. We got four names! I don't this, Neither do I. Just keep Get calm. Alright. I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Come get some. No one's gonna kill you. Get Daddy's got this. Alright, come on, boys. I'm gonna drop you! Yeah, not before I shoot you in the head, my friend. Oh, 
Oh, really? You're gonna hide behind a wall? Fine, I'll play your same game. I need you to cover me, asshole. Shit, I'm, I'm, I knew that was gonna happen. I got stuck on the wall, I couldn't do anything. That was... a bit bullshit there. Alright, screw it. Alright, let's do this again. When someone runs around you where you're in cover, and to turn around, you can't lock onto them, because I pressed L and it didn't lock on, it just stared straight. So, alright, let's try this again, but obviously... Well, if he wants to play grenades, I'll freaking play grenades at him too. See, he just doesn't want to lock on sometimes. Neither do I. Just keep the <laughs> that guy flew. Get that pole. Well, let's just use this, shall we? Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. There's probably going to be some more people running out in a second. Yeah, here we come. That's the guy that killed me, I think, last time. Need to wait for this guy to stop burning. But I know there's a guy, bad guy out there. Uh, we got a health pack right here. Let's grab that. Can't even see him. See? What the hell? I just got put on fire. Ah, oh, God. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> it loves messing with you. And I'm failing, uh, failed twice now. Alright. Alright, no more messing about now. This guy, just piss off. Let's get this. And he frag out, I'll frag out as well, my friend. Not yet. Stay put. Standard ordinance. Let's do this. Someone give me cover. Neither do I. Just keep calm. That probably wasn't the best shot. All right, let's just shoot these guys instead of trying to explode them. There's a guy that comes out from here. He's now dead, and... Come on. There you go, jackass. Alright, there's another guy coming as well. And I'm stuck behind a door. I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Alright, here comes some big heavy vehicle. Let's get the grenade launcher out, and... Bang. And let's get you guys as well. Go to your family. Alright, so I kind of just blew up Tracy's car, but that's easily replaceable. And this time we didn't get failed or die from something stupid. Got you, dick. No, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! What the hell? <laughs> Who is this? Is this your son? <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off of me! <laughs> I, I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Oh, uh, that was good. Even though we failed it, like, twice. Although I didn't shoot her. I need to review that. I swear I shot the guy in the neck, but obviously, apparently, her hitbox was bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I have a guess now we're just gonna kill Merryweather. Take out Merryweather. Take out that Devon twat. And then do this big old heist and gain a shit ton of money. They came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Perryweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. 
Joker's Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Oh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Alright, we have to go back to the strip joint. But we've got the heist option. We're going to take on this Union Depository. So, let's just put our waypoint. And you know what? Let's do the heist this episode. Because it's the only mission we really have to do. We're only 15 minutes in. That's a random mission, which is okay. But yeah, we're only about 15 minutes, 16 minutes in. So, I'm alright with that. Though we do have to meet at the strip joint again, so hopefully they don't show any flesh. <laughs> But uh, if they do, it's alright, I'll just censor it out. So this is not too far of a drive either, but... I doubt we're going to do the heist right now, because... You know, we haven't... Well, we've done a bit of planning, but we haven't exactly decided who's going with us, like, as in crew-wise. Is it literally just going to be us three? And Lester, or something? Or do we need a we need, like, getaway vehicle, all that sort of stuff? We haven't done any of that sort of planning, so I have a guess... This is most likely just going to be that. And two, we want to kill Devin Weston. I think it is now. Was it Devin Weston? It was Devin something. I think it is Devin Weston. But yeah, we want to take out that twat. I'm actually looking forward to taking him out. He's a sleazy, slimy git. I picked it from the start when we first... Like, he just... Yeah. He just oozes like a sleazeball, practically. So... Oh, who's calling us, Amanda? Alright. Michael! Did you find them? Who? Oh. The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm going to take care of this. Alright, awesome. Alright, well, the heist, and I can't, I don't know why, but I just can't. Run. You wearing clown face. <laughs> okay. I hate it that I can't run in here. Alright, well, let's just walk around here. And Trevor's probably going to be waiting here for us. Probably with Leston Franklin, maybe. Hey. Yep. <laughs> and he's still in the jumping suit. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, all right, all right, enough! Enough! enough. Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. Alright, we gotta plan it. Out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel hmm. bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, uh, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. Wow. We'll have to steal right. it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. There's a lot to do. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, 
You've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Yeah. Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> well, we're taking on probably the biggest amount of cops you're ever going to have in the game. So, you want to be as subtle as frudge. I'm going to say frudge, I was going to say the other word, but no, I'm trying to cut that out. <laughs> But no, we're going to go subtle. I think obvious will be a hell of a lot of fun. But subtle makes more sense. It really does. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's going to take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Okay, well, we've used this guy before. So we're going to take him. Hey, you got to give the guy some cred for coming out of the bureau with his uh, abilities. Yeah, I reckon he learned something. But not enough to charge more. But then... Don't really... I reckon we should take Chef. You know, he's a high percentage, yes. But we need some good gunmen in this, and Chef is good. So let's take Chef. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, it is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part. She's pretty good, actually. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. Yeah, we'll take her. I'm not gonna pass her up. And another driver. Well, it's either that or that, and... Yeah, we'll take this guy. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. We used this guy last time, and he did alright, and his skill has increased. And he uses a low percentage as well. Like, you look at this, he's actually better than the person that's asking for 10%. Yeah, she's 15, but, you know, I'm not going all out. Yeah, let's see, Ricky is the best choice. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Yep, we're doing it. The big score. Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, let's All right, go. let's plan this. Is it going to be end of mission, is it? Am I supposed to get outside and it's going to tell me? If we just go... We haven't got a mission showed up yet or a phone call. Might be waiting until we get out though. Wait, is that Wade in front of us? I think it was too. Oh, Tracy. Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, he has three missions, but I don't see it. So, are they going to show me a mission? It says he has three missions, but I don't see one. So... I'm waiting for a call, obviously, or a text, email, something. Give me something to do, and we'll at least do one of those things that they want us to do. Here we go, okay. So we'll quite attempt in the highest. Check your email for locations. Okay, so what do we need? Four muscle cars. We're going... Unmodded one, test, work well. We need three more. 
We just need three hacker pulled some images from the CCTV network. Okay, so this is where we're pulling them all from. And I now need to find this locations on the mini map. Hmm. Okay, is that what his job is? Okay, so it's giving me the cars. Let's see if we go to Franklin and see what he gets, because the cars will be a bit annoying for me to find on camera because I need to find the actual location and all that sort of stuff. If I actually set a uh, point of interest later on for the next episode, then I should be able to find all those cars. We got a lot to do. Yep, we do have a lot to do. Alright, what's he gonna give Franklin his job to do? Unless he got the same Oh, they want the cars now. Okay, I think they actually want the cars right now. Okay, let's see. Rockford Hill. Okay, what was this? This was... Pillbox Hill. Okay, let's see if we can find that. Pillbox Hill. Uh, does it tell me location? Rockford Hills. Banning... Vinewood, Richmond, East Vinewood, Murray Heights. Uh, really? Uh, this is going to be annoying to find. Okay, well, if that's the case and we don't get an email, I'll drive for another minute or two. If we don't get an email or a text to do one of the other ones, then. Oh, there we go. Thank you. There's an LSPD van. Oh wait, I didn't need that, no. Uh, spikes in the rear. I've got a hacker, it looks like Gorman. Come on, if they accept. Wait, there's another sp uh, spike strip in the rear car park of the San Jose. We've got the hacker looking for some Gorman uh, muscle cars. That we can modify. Expect an email about that soon. Okay, so we've got that highest option. So let's go do that one. Because the cars. I need to go steal all the cars and do them all up, but I need to find the actual damn location, which is, I don't exactly want to sit here umming and ahhing for five, ten minutes trying to figure that out. So what we're going to do is get off this freeway, and we should be good. Yep, alright, awesome. And we're going to steal a cop van to get the spikes, so we're going to have some heat here. So that's going to be fun to actually get away from. Oh, and this is, I think this is right near the towing company, actually. Steal the police van. Is it in the towing company? No, it's there. Ooh, okay. Can we... We can't get through here, but I reckon we can jump that fence. Yeah, I reckon we can jump that fence. We go here. Or oh, is there a door here? Yeah, there's a fence right here. Okay, we can't jump that, but can we... Alright, there has to be something that we can jump. If we grab our van, yeah. Okay, we're going to do it this way. We're going to get on top of that building there, and then we're going to jump on that building to get to that van. And it's probably going to bring as much of attention to us. But it might save us a little time. Because now... Okay, so that cop's right there. He hasn't seen me. See, they all... I'm off in a couple hours. Let's see that new one. The one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. See if I... Anton Bartolaire. See yeah. if I take this... You're talking statues. See? Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Alright, we just stole the police van without being seen. Now, let's see if the cops will actually find us. <laughs> if not, then that was probably the most sneakiest thing we could have done today. Because if you went through the other way, they would have just been, Oh, authorised personnel only, please leave the area and all that sort of crap. But I think we've got off scot-free here. Yep, we have. Alright, let's park this police van here. That was easy. 
I didn't expect that to be that easy. <laughs> Alright, so we still need to get the car. The, uh, the four muscle cars, but I need to work on that. I need to actually find out where the locations are, because... I need to just investigate on the map and put point of interests. So, on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. It's ending around half half an hour in, but uh, next episode will be a bit longer, I think. We got some of those spikes dressed for the UD job, Let's just listen man. to this. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take this score. All right, so it's just the cars now. No worries. All right, guys, well, I'm going to end the episode here. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time where we get those gauntlets and we take on this big old heist, this last big job. So, as usual, I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later, guys.